Yeah, good morning everyone. Yeah, welcome again to yet another edition of Mining Software. Yeah, three new on SOPAC. So the we'll head straight to block modeling. We want to create block model for the goal the project we've been working on. So we'll go straight to our SOPAC software, we'll open our SOPAC software. As usual, you know, after opening your software, ensure you set the folder you want each and every work you're doing to be saved in as your work directory. So for me, it's good. I just have to double click on it. So you can right click and set as work directory. I've done that. After that, connect the database. I've done that. So now we are going to create block model. For us to create block model, the first thing we need to do is to come to the menu here, block model, click on it. You see again block model, yes. Then go to new or open. We want to create a new block model. Click on open. Give it a name. So the name of my block model is practice load with constraint no i don't want to load it with any constraint i just want to create a new block model after giving it a name of your choice click on apply then apply again so now it's open so here is a description if you're working on any project you can describe it here no problem the block model for a b c and d company it's up to you so the most important thing here is here get extend from string file we have our composite file we have our yeah all outline files and the rest so check this box here check it click on it everything changes so now location ex extend string location we are the location so i've set it up as my work like say gold so click on these three dots so you decide to choose the string file you want to work with you choose the string file you want to work with when you select the string file you want to work with you will have the opportunity to create a block model for example Yeah, so we have only method of creating a block model. You go to block model, new, you enter the name of the block model, just give it any name. I can give it any name. I give it unit for name of your choice, and you apply. It comes with you here. Next, you need to do get extent from string file. Yes, check this box. When you check it, it asks you for the location. Click on these three dots. You know the name. Mine the name is all body model. Or you can choose any of the string file. You know the name of the string files or how you label it when you are 
building your sections and digitizing. You created a solid, the name of that I've changed mine to on body model. Select it, open. You coordinate everything changes. So you can enter for your choice 10, 10, 5. Some people can use 2.5, 2.5, and the rest. Apply and create. So now it's here, you need 4. I can click on the drop down arrow to display it. Click on display. Display this is the block model. The next thing I want to do is to give it constraint to create a constraint. And then we go to block model. Constraints new. Yes, we type of constraint, constraint type. Click on the drop down arrow here. 3DM in 3D model. You have the block model, you have the DTM, you have string. I want to use the 3D solid to constrain it. Click on it. The 3D file, click on this dot. Or body model again. Open. After that, it should be inside this. Here should be ticked. Add. After adding it, you come here, save constraint to give it a name of your choice. Give it the name of your choice and apply. So now, if I check under my work directory, I will see it. So you need four constraint. See dot C O and that's the constraint extension. Let's click on it, drop. So you see this is the block model I've created from the solids. So from the solid after sectioning and digitizing, this is the block model from the solid. After creating this, the next thing you need to do is to add attributes. We need to block model attributes new. I will add grade. Grade is free because it didn't read. So you look at the grade. It's free. We use VR decimal place to Background value now here is the same as grid. You can leave it like that. Add again SG. SG will have the specific gravity. Again, it's free and because it deals with numbers. After that, decimal place 2. The same as specific gravity. If you've added this to then for now you can leave it like that. Apply. So adding attribute to the block model done. After adding attribute, we can assign values now for our density we're going to block model estimation, block model estimation, assign value, attribute name. SG specific gravity for the grid is 2.8 <coughs> for the blocks that are, that are inside apply again for the blocks that are inside you can or you can even use constraint which constraint file you need for constraint file you can use the constraint file also open inside should be checked here add you apply you be able again block model estimation as sg yes 2.2 2. for the blocks that are outside you go again you select the constraint file So you can add all those after adding a constraint. Now let's check if it is applicable. So you go to block model attribute, V attribute for unblock click. Click on any block, click. The grid is zero. The edge is 2.8 because these are the blocks that are inside. Now if I remove all constraint. 
then I go again to block model attribute v attribute for one block. I click is 2.2 because these are the ones that are outside. So the next thing I will do is to do resource estimation. We are going to block model estimation. It depends on which one you want to use, inverse distance or nearest neighbor. You do it anyone. I'm going with nearest neighbor. The string file. Yeah, which location? Use your composite. Use your composite. When you use your composite to do your you perform your estimation on your composite, it's, it's very good if you perform it on your composite. So DH composite. Here we select grid, apply. It's asking us for a maximum search radius. We want it to search all around 999 and for the vertical again 999. So we don't change anything, you just give it give it for estimation, yes. Then you apply allow it to perform the estimation it will take time yes apply and this is the estimation it has performed after this the next thing you need to do apply your constraint try to color it for you to color it come here again you need for color by attribute attribute to color by which one create and scan you see the grid distribution, so you can change it here. You can see from zero to zero point eight. It it's up to you. One point five. You can say three. Or you can even say ten. Nine nine. Something like that. You refresh. So you see, you have the waste from zero to zero point eight. Low grid zero point eight. 1.5 medium 1.5 to 10 I agree 10 to 999 medium should be yellow then you apply so you see this is the grid distribution it depends on how you want to do your color coding so we are going to stop here for a minute to make the video longer so practice how to do your block model create attribute constraint your research estimation and color code thank you very much